Hey Virgo, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. Thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I appreciate it. All right, let's get into it. This is going to be your weekly reading. It's for anyone with Virgo placements or anyone else. Hold on one sec, guys. I had a hair stuck in the cards. <laughs> it happens every now and then. All right. This is for anyone with Virgo placements or anyone else who's guided to see the Virgo reading. What do we need to know about it? What are the most important messages we have? Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good. This reading could resonate now or at a later date or at any time really that you're guided to see it. Or it just might resonate later on. One more shuffle Virgo reading. All right, let's do it. Let's find out. What do we need to know here, Virgo, reading for anyone? Okay. Knight of Wands. What do we need to know here for Virgo? Oh, that's way too many. I can't take all that. Just one or two at a time. Virgo reading, please. Virgo reading. Okay. We also have the Four of Swords reversed and the Queen of Pentacles, which could be your energy. Uh, let's just get the central issue here. Just one card for the central issue for Virgo, please. One card or two for the central issue. Okay, wow, beautiful. What a way to have a central issue, the world. All right, so you got a cha you got a, a cycle that's about to um, change. You've got these both came out on their side as a challenge. The Ace of Wands, I mean, I'm sorry, the Ace of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. I don't know if you're trying to get, um, well, it's interesting that they would come out like that because one is I need money and one is I'm getting money. <coughs> or one is I'm trying not to give money and one is I got a new beginning coming. We'll see what it, what it uh, else it comes out. Well, absolutely. All right, so let's move this up just a little bit here. And see if we can't figure out what's going on here. Um, all right, bottom of your deck. Well, karma came out. Well, that could be an issue. All right, so Virgo, you could be um, could be dealing with a somebody karmic to you um, because you well you've got not just karma but you've got the devil and you got a Pisces sitting right in between both of them. <laughs> <laughs> so now listen that doesn't mean your karmic partner has to be a pisces or you know that pisces is the devil um it just means you do have something going on karmically here probably with a capricorn or a pisces uh most likely um but i feel like you're not going to um there's something here about you're going to end a cycle with a karmic pisces um two of wands here reverse i feel like you're um trying to you're really trying to figure out what way you're going to go as you're well you're stuck in this though these are all in the upright this is the weird thing so this two of wands says i'm stuck in a karmic contract with a pisces so really your problem has been not being able to go on your new journey not being able to choose a path forward because of something you're kind of you feel trapped in this now if this is not you it's someone else but um it could be a pisces who's caught in a karmic contract um whatever it is i really feel like there's something here that needs to be released and if you look closely, there's an opportunity or there's something here about someone who's weighing out their options about something. And we got Archangel Michael with temperance right there. And we got the four of wands right there. It's like, if I make this decision, I'll follow um, spirit advice and I will um, come to a place of peace about this. So if it's you that are stuck in this karmic contract, uh, possibly with the Pisces or uh, even maybe a Capricorn or anybody really um, I feel like you have an option to release it you have an option to put it to rest you have an option to release and accept all new energy in and that's really what this feels like death of old means I will release this and then I will allow new into my life and I will move forward this is I release anything that held me back I'm not held back anymore um four of swords another card of 
I'm just dormant until I release this, but this came out reversed. So I feel like when you make this decision, everything changes. Like this is not, I'm weighing it out anymore. This is, I've made the decision, which way I'm going to go in this karmic thing. And I'm choosing peace. I'm choosing what spirit's guiding me to do. I'm choosing to close out something that kept me stuck, but no longer does because I'm free. I'm free to move forward. I'm free to bring in new beginnings. And here you are, Queen of Pentacles in the reverse right there. Let's find out what we can about this. I wish you weren't in the reverse, but it could also be that you're waiting on something financial to come through, right? You could feel stuck in this because, well, you don't have the finances. You And so many times people say, I can't get out of it because I'm stuck in it because of my money, because of finances. But until you actually make a move that changes that, it's going to be the same thing the next day and the next day and the next day. So if you are going to tell somebody... I'm stuck in this because of financial reasons and I can't get out of it, then you also should back it up and say by saying, but I'm doing dot, dot, dot to change that. Because that's all spirit needs to know is that you're doing something to change it and they've got your back. You show them what you want and need by, by initiating what you want and need. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good, what do we need to know about this reading? What's important? Virgo reading for anyone with Virgo placements or anyone else who's guided to see the Virgo reading for whatever reason they're guided here. This reading could resonate now or later or at any other date. One more shuffle Virgo reading for anyone who's guided. All right, let's take a look. I, first thing I want to look at is that Queen of Pentacles reverse. Why are you reversed right now? Is it just because you're still feeling stuck? Well, you're not seeing something clearly. Ace of Swords in the reverse. You're not seeing something clearly because truthfully, you'd be the Queen of Pentacles in the upright if you saw it correctly. So there's something here about this or you're waiting for some kind of like justice to come in for you where your money comes in. That's possible too. All right, let's look at the, um, I want to look at the Ace of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles together as a challenge. Why are the Ace of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles both a challenge in this situation? Wow, beautiful, wow. So we're waiting. Okay, so listen, this is a brand new cycle. Um, this is the sun. It also has the universe on it. also represents the world. This is a beautiful card because it means a new cycle's coming in. So um, whatever's happening here, I feel... Look at the bottom of your deck. My God in heaven. The six of swords and the chariot. Beautiful forward movement. I think this is what this is all about. It's all about you no longer holding on to this cycle and allowing yourself to move forward. You're going to have all this come in for you as soon as you just move forward. And that was the first card out. Stop being stuck in the old karmic cycle and move forward. And that's really all Spirit's saying is move forward. It's almost like Jesus take the wheel. You know, I'm going to move forward and then I know you're going to catch me. And they're like, yep, we got you right? Show us what you want. Show us where you want to go. Show us what you want in your life. And we've got your back. What beautiful energy. So this just shows me when you move forward and you release this old cycle, you're going to get that ace of pentacles that's on hold, right? It's right there. It's only a challenge here. It's in the upright. It's just a challenge to get to because it's going to be in releasing something else. It's new opportunities. It's new energy, but you're going to have to walk away from something right behind it. Look at that from my lips to God's ears. I'm telling you, you're going to have to leave something behind to get that new beginning, that beautiful new beginning. It's right there. All right, let's keep going here. There's not much more I have to say about this reading, but let's just get a little peek. So we're going to go from inaction to action. We see that clearly getting i want to know more about the queen of pentacles with the ace of swords here reversed you needed you need clarity on this this is i would be meditating on this if i was you because of the fact that you're still showing up queen of pentacles in the reverse and you have the ace of swords on top of you and all you need is this clarity and boom you got a whole new life almost tell me about this uh Queen of Pentacles reverse with the Ace of Swords reverse. What do we need to know, Virgo reading? 
Yeah, your lack of clarity is what keeps you in the five of pentacles. All right, if you release that, if you see something clearly, this has something to do with you needing to see it clearly and go into the new cycle. They're saying just go, go into the new cycle, even though you don't know where it's going to take you. It's like a leap of faith. Um, you know, it's, it's, you can't tell somebody how to live their journey, but you can tell them what the energy shows, right? So no one can say, Hey, just go on a new journey and you're going to end up where you need to be. But what we can say is what I am seeing here is you're not seeing something clearly or, um, your lack of clarity keeps you in this, um, almost like a fear state, right? Um, if you could only see something clearly and maybe you need to meditate on this, you need to call in some um, archangel help, call in some guidance and, and get real quiet, turn off the TV, close your eyes, just if you don't want to call it meditation, whatever you want to call it, get real quiet, get real focused and find out what you're being guided to do. You'll know it. You could already, this could already be like constantly nagging at you, whatever it is. All right, let's look at the two of pentacles reversed here. This is it's a it's a decision you have to make. Only you can make decisions for your journey. Tell me about the two of pentacles here reversed. Two of wands as a challenge and look at how the light is spirit is lighting this is my favorite card in this deck. Spirit lights the path up that you're supposed to go on. You're torn and spirit's like right over here. Oh, yo, over here. We're trying to light it up. We're, we're lighting the whole portal open that we want you to go through. But we're going to actually need you to move forward into it. You're going to have to do that part. We can't do that por part for you. It's a whole new cycle. It's beautiful, actually. This is gorgeous reading. Absolutely. And where does it take you? Your journey takes you to peace. It takes you to peace. It takes you to peace. It's everywhere. Peace, peace, peace. Six of Swords is my peace card. And so is the Four of Wands. They're my two peace cards. And that's where you go when you leave the drama or whatever the emotional baggage is behind from the past and go on a new journey. The one that's been blocked here because you were stuck, you were been pinned or stuck to some kind of karmic, I don't know if it's... Um, a Pisces or a or a Capricorn or if it's you know even could be an Aquarius Libra or Gemini could be anybody really um, that you have felt now could just be a situation it could be I can't leave this karmic job I can't keep leave this karmic place that I live this whole thing could be about you moving it could be about you taking on a new job opportunity or it could be take all about you leaving something or someone behind that isn't in your highest good because you're being guided to your highest good wherever you're being guided it guides you away from what's not good for you the drama i hope this helps someone what a great reading i mean really great reading um there are lots of signs coming through there's positive ones there's um there's cancer there's um leo there's sagittarius um there's your energy coming through here obviously um like i said that the one that i was most nervous about was the pisces energy back there only because it sits in between all that karma but it could be your own energy your own energy sitting in the middle of a bunch of karma and that's what spirits like let's get you out of here let's pluck you out of there right um i do see aquarius libra gemini energy here too uh, so guys let me know i'd love to hear from you i'm going to pull you a couple of angel cards here Be you guys have so much potential like amazingness in front of you if you go on this new journey of course it has to be your journey no one can make you do it and you, i just if you're really torn about where you want to go or what you want to do in your life i would say please do take some time out to meditate on it call in call on whoever you believe in to give you some you know show you where you need to be one more from the bottom courage yeah the courage so you might already know where you need to be yeah look i just got instant goosebumps awakening absolutely this is an awakening and spirit says when you wake up and you know where you want to go go do it don't be scared because what do you find there all the peace i'm talking about is all there i have goosebumps everywhere for your reading this is definitely an important reading 
it's a huge life change that literally will change your life in a really positive way but you've got to focus on what's best for you and pay attention to where you're being guided you're being guided somewhere and you're thinking about it too like whatever it is you're already i feel like you if you don't yet you will be in this state where you're like i am thinking about this i am thinking about this that's the thing that's the thing that's being lit up for you Anyway, good luck, Virgo. What a great reading. My best favorite reading of the week, I think. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Please do like this video. Um, I appreciate it. It helps the channel so much. It helps the channel grow and keeps me doing what I do every time you guys like. Also, please comment. I'd love to hear from you guys. I read every single comment, and I appreciate you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.